All right, guys, just like the title says, uh, I am building some um, hydro steering. I don't know why I just said it like that. Hydro steering for my Razor. I've already kind of got started on it. Uh, I'll show you what I got done so far. Mounted the cylinder right up in the front. Uh, these are just temporary tie rods while I play with what I want to actually do. They're gonna be big, heavy duty bastards. Like, so basically they're gonna be heavier than my A-arms. I'm not worried about hitting them. Uh, cylinder, I plan to build a cover. Uh, that will cover all of this. So it's going to be kind of tough to really hit the cylinder. Not saying you couldn't do it, but rock bouncers do that all the time. All right, moving around to the back. I'm getting ready to work on the back. Pull this uh, stator cover off. Put the, the cover on that will have the pulley on it. So guys, pretty much th there will be a pulley mounted right here. There will be a power steering pump mounted right here. And then I'll have hydraulic lines that will go to the front. Um, we're going to have a little reservoir up here. I got to put a cooler somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, I do know that there are kits available for these, but I wasn't having much luck getting them from any of the people who sell them. So anyways, um, this is where we're at so far. And I think it's going to be awesome when I'm done. Not sure. But what I can tell you is the steering on this thing is not awesome right now. I've ran, uh, I don't like name dropping of the parts that I've destroyed, but I have ran not every aftermarket rack available for this thing, but almost. This is a Turbo S, so there is less available. And I break them. I just, uh, I've tried the steering stabilizers, broke it. Um, tried the, the different billet racks, broke them too. So hopefully, hopefully, this will be our, our answer. So stay tuned, guys. All right, y'all, just about to call tonight. So far, front end, knocked it all out. It's all tacked up. Went ahead and moved around to the back. I'll show you that real quick. Turned out real nice. We got the case half on there with the pulley ready to go. Um, I got to press the pulley onto the power steering pump. I'm going to do that at work tomorrow, and then I'll bring it and be able to mount it up. I even went ahead and, and removed all the factory steering and getting ready to mount the orbital valve in there. Unfortunately, I got a call tonight a little earlier than I wanted. Uh, my wife um, found a mouse. And I gotta go, gotta go get it out of the house. So, you know, real important shit going on over here. Overall, I think it's a pretty good day for day one. What's up, guys? All right, another night uh, working on the razor, the hydraulic steering. I don't remember exactly where I left off with you guys, but I do have the hoses routed up front now. I also have the orbital valve mounted right where the steering wheel would normally be. All right, guys, I've come to realize that I'm absolutely horrible at the whole like vlogging thing. They're just, I'm just so, I just like to get shit done. You know what I mean? I'm trying to just do stuff and I don't think about, I need to film it. So I'm gonna catch you guys up on the um, hydraulic steering that I've came up with for my Razor. Um, I took it out for a quick drive. Here, let me put you on a stand. All right, so the first time I took this thing out a couple nights ago, um, I completely forgot that I broke two axles, this one and that one, uh, on my in my last YouTube video. So, anyways, I took it out for the first test drive and felt like the belt was just spinning really, really or slipping really, really bad. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I'm like, oh, you, you idiot. Uh, so, anyways, I turned around, came back, slapped some axles in it, did a little bit of work on it, and then uh, took it out again. So, I was uh, obviously the second time I took it out. I was extremely impressed with uh, with the steering so far. Um, I didn't really, know, I mean, it felt like the factory stuff. I mean, other than the fact that it's just super easy to turn. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little walk around. So I just got uh, my, I don't know, I'm calling it a bash plate, but my little bumper built there. Just got that thing done, all welded up and cleaned up, ready for powder coat pretty much. Uh, one of the most important things that I did do was shorten this shaft up. I uh, took an inch off of it on each side. Um, and just for temporary, I've got, I've got these on until I, uh, like I set, I, I'm using them, uh, those as stops now because the shaft's been shortened. I got to pull the, the shaft out and put a internal, uh, stop in there. The only thing that, um, I could say that I dislike about it at this point is it's, it's like a factory razor, right? So it's like kind of like, you got, it's, I don't know, like a ro rotation and a half to full lock it. Um, and I want to lock it like bang, bang, like real quick, because in the scenarios I put this machine in, 
going over logs, rocks, uh, going in the mud holes, out of mud holes, over different obstacles, you know, tires, concrete barriers, whatever. I need it quick. I need, I need to be able to go lock to lock really fast. I'm never really going like high speeds with this thing. It, it can't really with the portals and the, the, uh, the clutch work that's been done to it. It can't go that fast really. So anyways, I'm super happy with it. Um, I really don't know what else to say other than, other than show it to you guys when it's all done. Um, another shot of the, the pulley and the, and the, uh, the stator cover. Um, I do. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta get a, I gotta get something to cover, um, these hoses for the exhaust. Hmm. About forgot about that. Um, and then, you know, just put everything back together and zip tie everything up really nice. But yeah, man, it's turning out pretty, pretty awesome. And I, I, I really could not be more happy with it at this time. The only thing really left to do when it, when it's all done and powder coated and stuff, obviously, I am going to drive it and see if I absolutely hate it or not, but I'm probably going to swap out that orbital valve um, to make it, you know, turn just a little bit faster. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. A lot of people on TikTok and stuff were asking me um, what this bar was. Well, it's I still have the factory rack in there and the um, the tie rods hooked up. Also, because I don't, I didn't have a way of, of knowing what my, my throw and stuff needed to be. So when I, whenever I get all my stops set and everything, I mean, I know what it is now because I've been messing with it, but at the time I didn't. So one of my next steps is going to be taking all that stuff out. But anyway, I'm hoping that in the next, I don't know, just depends on work and stuff. Next few days, I'll have the whole front end tore off of it and sent off the powder. And then we can send it. All right, y'all. This is pretty much the final update before we put it together and send it. Stripped everything down for powder coat. I'll show you what we got over here. I'm pretty proud of the tie rods. They turned out pretty cool. So these are the tie rods. Uh, I ended up wrapping them with some perforated steel. Went ahead and uh, finished up the portal brackets, the bash plate for the front bumper. Uh, it just bolts on there, which is pretty cool. Covers everything up really well. So yeah, next time you see it, it will probably be together. Let's hope.